Chapter 2061, Visit Dandazong. Not at all. We can go right now. Shang Wen Yang and the others just came, and they all put their stuff in Kian Kun bags or the telepathic ice space, so there was nothing they needed to pack up. Without hesitation, they stood up and left with Bei Ling Chen. Senior Shang Wen, I'll go home now. See you tomorrow, said King Jining. He brought Shang Wen Yang and the others here, but it wasn't appropriate for him to visit Tandazong along with them. Sure Shang Wen Yang nodded. When they walked out, there were still a lot of onlookers, because they were curious to see whom Bei Ling Chen was going to see, none of them left. However, they didn't recognize the new faces that came out with Bei Ling Chen. They only knew that those people must be very important. After walking out, Bei Ling Chen suddenly realized a problem. So he said with slight embarrassment, I'm so sorry, Senior Shang Wen. We came here in a hurry, so we didn't prepare a carriage. I'm afraid we have to go there on our own. Although they were all cultivators who could fly with swords or King Kong and they didn't need horses or carriages, Shang Wen Yang was their guest. So it was a little impolite to tell Shang Wen Yang to travel by himself. It's fine. Leader Bei Ai, please lead the way, said Shang Wen Yang airily. Afterwards, he waved his hand and a sword appeared in the air the next second. He stepped on it, followed by Gunning and Leng shouting. Witnessing that, everyone except for Bei Ling Shen and Zai Bei Kuan were surprised. It was a flying sword. He must be a senior cultivator. Leng shouting could also fly with swords, but he was unwilling to show so many of his skills in public right now. So he took Shang Wen Yang's magical sword. Great said Bei Ling Chen. He also waved his hand to show his sword, then he stepped on it with his two guards. Zai Bikuan and Ningzi took out their own sword as well and stepped on it. Bei Ling Chen took the lead and quickly flew towards Tandazong. Within minutes, they arrived at its square. At this moment, the square was ablaze with lights. All the disciples present already stood in lines, waiting. Only two elders who were on retreat and ahead who wasn't in Tandazong were absent. There weren't many disciples in Tandazong, there were slightly more than a hundred of them. Sects in the old times could have thousands of disciples. However, there were only about 20,000 people in the cultivation world right now and only a few could become disciples of Tandazong. Moreover, not every qualified cultivator would choose to join Tandazong. Different people had different dreams after all. Once Bei Ling Chen and the others came, everyone turned to look at them. Seeing Shang Wen Yang flying over with the sword, those who knew him weren't surprised, while those who didn't were all astonished. Even if they were aware that they were going to welcome a very important figure with an enthusiastic reception, they were still amazed. Gunning and the others didn't know that Tandazong would prepare such a grand reception for them, showing that they really attached great importance to Shang Wen Yang's arrival. Bei Ling Shen and the others landed in the middle of the square, then walked to the hall. Two elders and two heads who stood outside immediately walked over to welcome them. As they approached the hall, Gunning saw a familiar figure. It was Mo Kailin. She wasn't surprised at all. In front of the hall, nice to see you. Senior Shang Wen, I'm the second elder of Dandazong, Yun Hongqing. Senior Shang Wen, nice to see you, I'm the third elder of Dandazong, Shi Xioyang. Yun Hongqing and Shi Xioyang politely greeted Shang Wen Yang, because they were in the same generation, they could directly call each other's titles. In addition, both of them had met Shang Wen Yang before when they were young, so they could recognize Shang Wen Yang, even if it happened hundreds of years ago. They still remembered their first meeting with Shang Wen Yang, so they were sure that the senior cultivator was really him. There were people who resembled each other, but it was rare to see two people who so closely resembled one another. Moreover, even if the senior cultivator wasn't Shang Wen Yang, they would still be very polite to him given his unusually high level. Shang Wen Yang also remembered that they had met before, but he simply didn't know their names. After all, they didn't talk to each other back then. Senior Shang Wen, honored to see you, I'm Wai Xian, the head of the Chasing Cloud Department of Dandazong. Senior Shang Wen, honored to see you, I'm the head of the Gale Hall of Dandazong. The Gale Hall was the information department of Dandazong. Nice to see you all. Thank you so much for your invitation, said Shang Wen Yang nicely. Even though his level was higher than theirs and he enjoyed a higher status than them as well. He was the guest after all, so he naturally should thank the host. Moreover, he was politely welcomed by the host, 
so he was willing to be a polite guest. It's our honor that Senior Shangwen is willing to come to Dandazong, said the third elder. Right the fourth elder chimed in. Nice to see you, Elder Yun, Elder Shi, Head Wai, and Head Fugening and Leng Shouting greeted them. Nice to see you too, young friends. They didn't take an ing and leng shouting lightly just because they were juniors. Because of Shang Wen Yang, they replied to them politely. In fact, when they saw leng shouting they were surprised by his level. At his young age, he already reached the golden core stage, which proved that he was talented. Anyway, he was Shang Wen Yang's disciple, so it was very normal. After that, Leader Bei Bei turned to look at the disciples at the square and said loudly, Everyone, this is the elder of the Kunlun sect, Senior Shangguan. Hearing that, all the disciples at the square made a bow towards Shangguan Yang with hands folded in front and respectfully said, Honored to see you, Senior Shangguan. Shangguan Yang didn't need to reply to them. After the reception, the two elders and Bei Lingshan brought them to have a chat in the living room. Within seconds, the news that Bei Lingshan personally went to welcome a senior cultivator at a hotel spread abroad to the four major families. Shortly after Jing Jining was taken away by people of Tandazong, they learned the news and they also believed that it must have something to do with Yin Shikson's death that Tandazong took Jing Jining away. They went to learn more details about the news and found out that Jing Jining had two senior cultivators by his side. So everyone understood that Tandazong might have a suspicion that the two senior cultivators had helped King Jining kill Yin Shaxun. Therefore, they sent people to check the situation in the hotel and saw Jing Jining come back with Bei Lingxun. After that, the senior cultivators who showed up with Jing Jining were invited to Tandazong. Except for the Jing family, they didn't know why. Because King Yan Hui was a member of the Jing family, Jing Yarong ordered someone to tell him to see him once he got home. He also called King Yan Hui over to hear about the case. Hash, Chapter 2062, Patriarch, you thought too highly of me. What happened earlier? Did the people of Dandazong take you away because of the case regarding Yin Shaxun's death? And who's the senior cultivator Bei Lingxun went to visit in person? Asked King Yarong. Well, Tandazong was indeed suspicious of me after knowing that several senior cultivators showed up together with me. They thought that they might have helped me kill Yin Shikson, so they asked me over to learn the truth. Anyway, I believe they won't be suspicious of me any longer as of today, said King Jining. Why? Is it because of the senior cultivator? Asked King Yanhua. Right, because he's the elder of the ancient Kunlun sect, Shangguan Yang, said King Jining. What? Hearing that. Both Jing Yanhua and Jing Yarong were shocked. Although they hadn't seen Shang Wen Yang before, they had heard about him. Are you sure he's really the elder of the Kunlun sect, Shang Wen Yang? Asked Jing Yarong with uncertainty. Li Bei, I already made sure of it, said King Jining. How did you get to know Shang Wen Yang? Asked King Yarong. Jing Jining then told them the same thing he had told Bei Lingxun. Since you knew that Shang Wen Yang was still alive earlier on, why didn't you tell us? If we had known that, we would have invited him to visit the Jing family. He would be our distinguished guest. It would be a great advantage to our family, said King Yerong seriously. He was blaming Jing Jining for that. Knowing that, Jing Jining sneered and replied to him. Senior Shangguan told me to keep it a secret. If I told you, do you think Senior Shangguan would still be willing to visit the Jing family? He might get mad at me and the Jing family instead. Jing Yarong frowned. He had to admit that Jing Jining was right, but he was dissatisfied with his attitude. However, he said nothing about that because he knew that Jing Jining hated him. Then why did they come to the cultivation world this time? Asked King Yerong. Senior Shangguan's two disciples will take part in the Kung Fu competition said King Jining. Jing Yarong cocked his eyebrow and asked, what's their level? The elder disciple is in the golden core stage, but I don't know whether he's in the primary, middle stage or the peak. The younger disciple is in the fusion stage, said King Jining. It wasn't a secret, so he told them right away. What? His elder disciple already reached the golden core stage. Knowing that, Jing Yanhua and Jing Yarong were amazed and felt a crisis coming. They thought that Jing Yanyun was highly likely to win the championship. Although there were several cultivators who were in the golden core stage, it wouldn't be a big problem for Jing Yanyun to be in the top three. Unfortunately, 
Another cultivator in the golden core stage showed up now, so Jing Yanyun became a less likely to win. Anyway, Jing Yarong didn't think it was a bad thing. Jining, since you know Shang Wen Yang, can you go to talk with his disciple? Yanyun can team up with him so that it'll be more likely for them to win, said King Yarong. He was talking about Leng Shouting. Although he hoped his son would win the first prize, there were more and more strong competitors now which alerted Jing Yanyun. Therefore, in order to make sure that his son could win a prize, it would be better if his son could team up with Shang Wen Yang's disciple. He couldn't decide who would win the first prize and who would get the second. It all relied on their own abilities and luck. However, if Shang Wen Yang's disciple teamed up with other cultivators, Jing Yanyun would be in a more dangerous situation. Hearing that, Jing Yanyun disdained him in heart and showed it on his face a little. Patriarch, you think too highly of me. I do know Senior Shang Wen, but we're not so close. Even if you want Yun Yun to team up with Senior Shang Wen's disciple, you need to tell Yun Yun to talk about that with Senior Shang Wen's disciple in person. I don't want to annoy them. Hearing that, Jing Yarong had a big frown. He knew that King Jining was reluctant to help him, but he had to admit that King Jining was right, so he didn't force Jing Jining to do it for him. Besides, Jing Jining didn't have a good relationship with them. If Jing Jining was displeased, he might let Shang Wen Yang's disciple deliberately make things difficult for Jing Yunyun, which was a bad thing. Upon thinking of that, Jing Yarong felt worried, so he immediately tried to figure out Jing Jining's attitude. Jining, I know we never get along. Will you tell Shang Wen Yang's disciple to cause Yunyun trouble on purpose because you hate me? No matter what, we're a family. It's a good thing for us if Yunyun can win a prize. Jining, will you Jing Yan who got anxious as well? Although he disliked what Jing Yarong had done before, it had already happened. A long time had passed too. No matter what, they were a family, so he cared a lot about the Jing family's pride. What? Jing Jining sneered, then said in annoyance, Patriarch, don't think too highly of me. My relationship with them isn't close enough to make them listen to me, and I'm not that silly. Actually, he was lying, because they came here in order to stop the Jing family from winning a prize. It wasn't silly for him, but it was revenge. Hearing that, Jing Yarong felt relieved, but he was still dissatisfied with Jing Jining's tone. Nevertheless, he didn't criticize Jing Jining for that. They said nothing further about that and told Jing Jining to leave, and so did Jing Yanhua. Jing Yarong soon called Jing Yunyun over and reminded him to team up with Shang Wen Yang's disciple tomorrow at the game. Father, there will be many people tomorrow. How can I know who Shang Wen Yang's disciple is? said Jing Yunyun. He felt it was difficult. Jing Yarong frowned and said, Jining will tell you tomorrow. He didn't think Jing Jining would refuse to do that. Father, how did Jing Jining manage to get to know Shang Wen Yang? How could he be so lucky? said Jing Yunyun with jealousy. He didn't address Jing Jining as his cousin, but directly called his name, which proved how much he hated Jing Jining. Jing Yarong then told Jing Yunyun how Shang Wen Yang met Shang Wen Yang and Jing Yunyun wished that he had met Shang Wen Yang earlier than Jing Jining. Given his talent, he could be taken as Shang Wen Yang's disciple. Other families were also curious about the senior cultivator who was taken away by Bei Lingshun, and they went to collect information about that as well. Before long, they learned the result and were all surprised that it was the elder of the Kunlun sect, Shang Wen Yang. To their astonishment, Shang Wen Yang was still alive. After the surprise, they began to feel worried too, because Jing Jining had a relationship with Shang Wen Yang. If their relationship was close, Shang Wen Yang could become the Jing family's support, which wasn't good news for the other major families. Hash, Chapter 2063, Why Don't We Team Up? In Dandazong, when the several elders talked with Shang Wen Yang, they brought up the tribulation which happened hundreds of years ago, because of the heavenly tribulation. The cultivation world came into being. Shang Wen Yang had heard about that from Jing Yun Yao earlier. Shang Wen Yang also told them that he was in retreat back then, so he knew nothing about what had happened in the outside world. After he came out, everything had changed and he was the only survivor of the Kunlun sect. Anyway, since he survived, there might be other cultivators who survived too, 
but the world was too large for them to meet. They didn't think about that until Shang Wen Yang showed up. After their chat, Bai Lingxin arranged for people to take Shang Wen Yang and the others to have a rest. That night, Leng Shouting couldn't sleep well because he was very close to his arch enemy here, and he would be able to see his arch enemy tomorrow. The next day, disciples of Tanda Zong all got up at 6 a.m. to practice in the square. At 6.30 a.m., Shang Wen Yang and the others came, but they didn't go out right away. Instead, they stretched their bodies in the yard. Bai Lingxin told them last night that their breakfast would be sent over at 7 a.m. When it was about 7 a.m., Ningzi came to the yard where they stayed. Seeing Shang Wen Yang and the others walking out, Ningzu said, Senior Shang Wen, I came to send you the breakfast as our leader ordered. If you want to have a tour around, I can be your guide. We'll gather together at 9 a.m. for the Kung Fu competition. Sure, thanks, said Shang Wen Yang. My pleasure said Ningzu. After that, Shang Wen Yang and the others went to have breakfast before Ningzu took them to have a tour around Tanda Zong. Because the Kung Fu competition would be held today and the leader and elders needed to deal with other things, they wouldn't be free to treat Shang Wen Yang until the competition began. Walking in Tanda Zong, they met its disciples along the way who all respectfully greeted Shang Wen Yang. As they walked, they saw Mo Kailin who was practicing his skills. Hi. Senior Shang Wen, and everyone Mo Kailin greeted Shang Wen Yang, because Gunning had a different appearance now, Mo Kailin failed to recognize her. Gunning, however, asked him, Will you take part in the Kung Fu competition? Yeah, said Mo Kailin. Why don't we team up? asked Gunning. Mo Kailin was a good cultivator in Gunning's eyes, so she didn't mind helping him. Otherwise, it would be very hard for Mo Kailin to finish the game. Hearing Gunning's words, not only Mo Kailin and Ningzu, but Shang Wen Yang and Leng Shouting were also surprised. They didn't know when Gunning suddenly became so helpful. Did she know Mo Kailin? It must be the reason, otherwise she wouldn't team up with a cultivator at a common level. Since Gunning was willing to do that on her own, they didn't stop her. Gunning was at the fusion stage, but her abilities were nearly the golden core stage. Really? Mo Kailin got excited after being surprised because his master also told him that he could finish the game if he could team up with Shang Wen Yang's disciples. However, it was only more likely for him to finish the game, but it was impossible for him to be in the top three. After all, Mo Kailin was at a very common level. Of course, said Gunning. Sure. Thank you so much. Mo Kailin thanked them at once. Great. See you later, said Gunning. Then they walked away. Junior King He. May I know why you chose Junior Mo Kailin to be your teammate? Asked Ningzu when they were far away. I think he's likable, said Gunning. Ningzu didn't know whether it was the real reason, but it was Gunning's answer, so he didn't ask further about that. Once Gunning and the others were gone, Mo Kailin ran to see his master. Mo Kailin's master was the second elder, Yun Hongqing. After Mo Kailin met Yun Hongqing, he told Yun Hongqing that Shang Wen Yang's female disciple invited him to team up with them on her own initiative. Knowing that, Yun Hongqing was greatly surprised. Although he hoped that Mo Kailin could team up with them, Mo Kailin was at a very common level like King He after all, so he didn't think it was very likely. If they teamed up with Mo Kailin, Mo Kailin might be their burden. Therefore, he couldn't figure out the reason why they invited Mo Kailin to join them. He didn't know why. But it was what he wanted and he believed that they wouldn't harm Mo Kailin. At 8 a.m., more and more people gathered at the square of Danda Zong. Some came to participate in the game, while some came to watch it. This game was divided into two parts. The first part would be held at the square, which was a group game and was called number grabbing. There were only 16 number cards that could enter the second part of the game, so no matter how many people signed up for the competition, only 60 players would enter the second part. Therefore, if one wanted to get a number card, he or she had to knock out the other competitors. Participants could team up in the first part, but there must be fewer than five people. They couldn't help their teammates compete for number cards. They could only help each other clear obstacles at most. If they wanted to win, they had to rely on their own abilities. Moreover, during the fight, they were forbidden to fly and they had to fight through by themselves. There were three stepped martial arts platforms on the square. The first martial arts platform was a hundred square meters wide, the second was eighty meters wide, 
and the third was 60 square meters wide. Around the three martial arts platforms was a two meter wide pool. The number cards were hung on a two meter high shelf at the end of the third martial arts platform. The starting point was from the first martial arts platform and went directly to the third one. Whoever was knocked out of the martial arts platform was the loser. Even if a participant grabbed number card, it wasn't a success yet because other participants could steal it away. One couldn't succeed until no other participants came to steal the number card. If there were fewer than 60 people who successfully had the number cards, those who lost the first time could have a second chance. In the second part of the game, participants would enter the deep forest of mist and the rules would be announced then. At 8.10 am, Jing Jining arrived, followed by Jing Yunyan. Along the way, they didn't talk at all. But Jing Yunyan said to Jing Jining after arriving at Tandazong, Cousin Jining, my father said he hopes that you can introduce me to senior Shangguan's disciples. He mentioned his father in order to put pressure on Jing Jining. No problem Jing Jining didn't refuse, because Jing Yunyan wouldn't be able to team up with Leng Shouting even if he introduced him to Shangguan Yang. After all, they came here this time precisely to stop Jing Yunyan from winning a prize. Hash. Chapter 2064, beat him heavily. He brought Jing Yunyan to meet Leng Shouting and Gunning simply to help them remember Jing Yunyan's face. After remembering Jing Yunyan's face, they could better stop him from winning a prize. I can't promise that they'll agree to team up with you, so the result isn't up to me, said Jing Jining. Jing Yunyan didn't know Jing Jining's real purpose, and thought that Jing Jining agreed to help him in fear of his father. Sure said Jing Yunyan. In fact, Jing Yunyan was unwilling to team up with Shang Wen Yang's disciples because he disliked them. Even if they hadn't met yet, he was already jealous of them because they and their master were all at a higher level than most cultivators. However, for the best benefits, he had to team up with them so that he was more likely to win a prize. Although he was stronger than most of the participants in this game, he had strong competitors as well. If he didn't have any sense of crisis, he would fail. As long as there were more than three people in the golden course stage, he was likely to lose. No matter how likely it was, he was reluctant to see it happen. Therefore, Jing Jining brought Jing Yunyan to see Gunning and the others. At this moment, Gunning and the others were still touring around. Jing Jining didn't know where they were, but he could easily figure it out by asking several disciples here. After finding Gunning and the others, Leng Shouting, Gunning, and Shang Wen Yang realized Jing Jining's purpose as soon as they saw Jing Yunyan. As a result, they weren't displeased because Jing Jining brought Jing Yunyan to see them without their permission. However, when Leng Shouting saw Jing Yunyan, he got angry, but soon calmed down. Ning Zi, who didn't know the reason, paid little attention to Leng Shouting's emotional change. He thought that Leng Shouting was simply unhappy for Jing Jining's sudden appearance with a stranger. Hi, Senior Ning. Jing Yunyun greeted Ning Zhu who he was familiar with first. Hi, Junior Jing, said Ning Zhu. This is Senior Shangguan. These two are Senior Shangguan's disciples. Jing Jining introduced the others to Jing Yunyun. Nice to see you, Senior Shangguan and everyone. I'm the disciple of the fourth elder. I'm also Jing Jining's younger cousin. My name's Jing Yunyun, said Jing Yunyun very politely to them. Hi, said Shangguan Yang in a flat voice. He didn't do it on purpose, but it was his attitude towards strangers. Shang Wen Yang was only enthusiastic about people and things he was familiar with. Hi, Junior Jing. Hi, Senior Jing. Leng Shouting and Gunning replied to him as calmly as they treated strangers. They had no intention of embarrassing him. Even if they came here to make things difficult for Jing Yunyun, they couldn't show that on their faces. Leng Shouting disliked this young uncle who was at the same age as him, but he didn't hold strong hostility towards him. Because Jing Yunyun was born after Jing Yun Yao had the terrible accident, it had nothing to do with him. There was no reason for Leng Shouting to blame him, but he was unwilling to stay with him because he was Jing Yarong's son. All right. The competition is about to begin. Let's go to the square now, said Ning Zhu. After that, they went to the square together. For now, Jing Yunyan didn't propose teaming up with Leng Shouting yet. He decided to talk about it later. When they arrived at the square, there were already many people, including Bailey Zongyang and Bailey Zongxu. Dong Feng Zhu was also present. 
They all stood at the square, some were busy chatting around, searching for teammates, because Gunning had a different name now, she couldn't go to talk with her familiar friends. Gunning hadn't thought about the idea of teaming up with Bailey Zong Xu, because she knew that every family would send several members to take part in the game. They perhaps had already teamed up with their family members. The Jing family had that plan as well, but unfortunately Jing Yunyun was far better than his relatives. Besides, Shang Yang's disciples showed up, so they changed their plan. If Jing Yunyun was turned down, they would carry out their original plan. After arriving at the square, Ning Zhe took Shang Yang and King Jining to see Bei Lingxian and the others, because Bei Lingxian arranged for a seat for Shang Yang next to them. It was a grand competition, so the patriarchs of the four major families would all come. They also sat with Bei Lingxian. Jing Jining didn't go to sit with the Jing family, but with Shang Yang which was Shang Yang's request. Shang Yang made the excuse that he needed Jing Jining's company, so Tan De Zong agreed. Once Ning Zhe left with Shang Yang and Jing Jining, Jing Yunfei said to Leng Shouting, Senior King He, why don't we team up? It's more likely for us to win if we're in the same team. Although Jing Yunyan went to team up with Leng Shouting, he didn't seem to beg him. Instead, it seemed that he was kindly giving Leng Shouting an offer as if it would bring Leng Shouting instead of him a great advantage. I don't think so, said Leng Shouting with an expressionless face. Jing Yunyun didn't have much hope, but he was still displeased when he heard Leng Shouting's answer. Instantly, he showed obvious anger on his face. However, he had his pride. Since he was turned down, he wouldn't mention it again, otherwise it would seem that he was longing to team up with Leng Shouting. Nevertheless, he hated Leng Shouting even deeper after being embarrassed. Therefore, Jing Yunyun made up his mind to teach Leng Shouting a lesson. Well, if so, forget it. See you, said Jing Yunyun. Then he turned around and walked away. Funny. The moment Jing Yunyun left, Gunning sneered. Team up with him? We're going to beat him heavily. Leng Shouting didn't chime in, but he actually had the same idea. They weren't only going to stop Jing Yunyun from winning a prize they would also teach him a lesson. They originally didn't have the idea because there was no grudge between Leng Shouting and Jing Yunyun. But Jing Yunyun annoyed them. Oh, will you blame me for teaming up with Mo Kailin without asking for your opinion? I met him once before, and he left a good impression on me, so I invited him to join us, said Gunning to Leng Shouting. They didn't stop her earlier, which meant they agreed, but she felt she needed to explain it clearly. However, because Ning Zhu was present, she didn't say much about it. Not at all, said Leng Shouting. Mo Kailin was a young kid, so he wouldn't be jealous. Mo Kailin was only 16, so he was indeed a kid in Leng Shouting's eyes. He was even younger than Gunning, and Leng Shouting didn't mind it if he spent some time with Gunning as friends. Hash, Chapter 2065, Who does he think he is? Although Mo Kailin was at the same level as Gunning, he was very young so he was quite outstanding and had great potential among his peers. Because Mo Kailin hung around often, he didn't focus on his cultivation, otherwise he would be at a higher level. Many disciples of Tanda Zong came to take part in the competition, and some walked over trying to team up with Leng Shouting. Because Leng Shouting was at a high level, it would be more likely for them to finish the game if they could team up with him. However, Leng Shouting turned all of them down. So people stopped walking to him and inviting him to join them. Some disciples who were turned down felt annoyed, so they started to complain about it later. It's annoying. Because he's at a high level, he thinks he's superior to other cultivators. There are more cultivators than just him who's at a high level after all. Right? Who does he think he is? If it weren't for his master, no one would notice him. No matter what, he's indeed at a very high level. Even if you're mad. You're no match for him. It's his right to choose whom to team up with. Stop bad mouthing him behind his back. It's unkind. Some cultivators thought Leng Shouting was innocent, so they defended him. Luckily, they weren't unreasonable people, so they stopped criticizing Leng Shouting. After all, it was Leng Shouting's right to choose whom to team up with, and they couldn't blame him for that. At this time, Ning Zhe brought Shang Wen Yang and King Jining to the hall. The patriarchs of the four major families just arrived and were having a rest inside. The patriarch of the Bailey family was Bailey Kaifeng. The patriarch of the Dongfen family was Dongfen He. The patriarch of the Yin family was Yin Wandian. 
and the patriarch of the Jing family was Jing Yerong. All four patriarchs were in the Yuan Ying stage. Bailey Kaifeng was at the peak, while the other three were in the middle stage. Among the four major families, the Bailey family had the most senior cultivators, including three in the Yuan Ying stage, and three in the Golden Core stage, so it held the highest position. The next was the Dongfen family, followed by the Yin family and the Jing family. The Jing family had the fewest senior cultivators, so it was losing its importance. If Jing Yarong learned that they actually had a family member who was already in the out-of-body stage and it was his daughter who was killed by him, he would certainly have mixed emotions. His daughter's son now also grew up to be a genius cultivator. Within several months, he became a senior cultivator in the Golden Core stage. Would Ging Yerong regret not making sure that she was fully dead, causing her to be able to dodge the bullet and become a strong enemy? Or would he regret killing her and losing such a great cultivator? Or would he admit his fault and beg for her forgiveness? Would he hope Jing Yan Ya would join the Jing family as Miss Jing again and accept Leng Shouting as his grandson? In fact, if it hadn't been for the terrible accident of that year, Jing Yun Ya wouldn't have become a senior cultivator in the out-of-body stage right now. Even if she became so strong today due to the deep scar left on her by Jing Yerong, it couldn't cover the fact that Jing Yerong had killed Leng Yuan Hun and her and made their son an orphan. If she had the choice, she would rather give up her cultivation level and be immortal living with Leng Yuan Hun. Her cultivation level couldn't make Leng Yuan Hun live again. It was lonely for her to live alone forever. Luckily, she still had a son or she honestly had no idea how she would have been able to remember her deceased love and how to live the rest of her life. Therefore, even if Jing Yarong found out that Jing Yan Ya was still alive and became a senior cultivator in the out-of-body stage, Jing Yan Ya wouldn't stop hating him. The cultivation world always respected the strong, so they were all respectful when they met Shang Wen Yang except for two elders who were as old as him. They didn't need to be specially respectful of Shang Wen Yang but they were very polite to him. After all, Shang Wen Yang was stronger than them. When Jing Yarong saw Jing Jining at Shang Wen Yang's back, he showed some pride, but Bailey Kaifeng, Dong Fen He, and Yin Wandian changed their expressions. Bailey Kaifeng only frowned a little without many emotions, but Dong Fen He and Yin Wandian showed obvious jealousy. They were jealous of King Jining for his good relationship with Shang Wen Yang. Given Shang Wen Yang's status, no one dared to mess with the Jing family in the future. They believed that Shang Wen Yang became the support of the Jing family after Jing Jining met him. If the Jing family encountered any trouble, Shang Wen Yang would certainly help it. However, what they didn't know was that Jing Jining didn't have a good relationship with the Jing family. If Jing Jining himself ran into trouble, Shang Wen Yang would help him. But Shang Wen Yang wouldn't give the Jing family a helping hand unless Jing Yun Ya and Leng Shouting asked him to do so. Jing Jining and Leng Shouting wouldn't be willing to help the Jing family. On the contrary, they were going to pay the Jing family back, or Jing Yarong's family to be specific. They already made the decision to let Jing Jining inherit the Jing family after they punished Jing Yarong's family, then they would support Jing Jining. The other members in the Jing family, who weren't close to Jing Yarong's family, Weren't Jing Yan Yao's target? Jing Yarong now had no idea about that, so he still believed that the Jing family could be at an advantage by relying on Jing Jining's relationship with Shang Wen Yang even if Jing Jining hated him because of Jing Yan Yao's death. Therefore, he was still very happy. Bailey Kaifeng didn't show obvious jealousy like Dong Fen He and Yin Wandian, not because he hid it well, but because he wasn't as jealous of the Jing family as them. He was slightly jealous of them but didn't lose his balance and begin to hate them. He thought it was their ability that allowed them to have a good relationship with Shang Wen Yang. The Bailey family had the best reputation among the four major families. It was like the Tang family in the mortal world without much interest in playing dirty tricks. Its family members also lived in harmony. They had an upright attitude and normally wouldn't offend other people. They were also very reasonable but they weren't weak if anyone dared to mess with them. That was the reason why they had never done anything to hurt Gunning even though they wanted something from her. Gunning also became friends with Bailey Zongyang and Bailey Zongxu because of that. The Dongfen family had a better reputation than the Yin family and the Jing family. They would play some tricks in order to achieve their goals, but they had principles and were unwilling to hurt innocent people. Therefore, 
the Bailey family was happy to see Bailey Zongyun be together with Dong Fengzu, the Yin family and the Jing family, however, would do anything to achieve their goals, unless they were restricted. Hash, Chapter 2066, You're adorable, hi, Elder Shangwen Yun Hongqing and Sheik Xioyang greeted Shangwen Yang in that way, nice to see you, Senior Shangwen Bai Lingxian and the others greeted him, they originally sat there, but all stood up once Shang Wen Yang walked inside, otherwise it would be disrespectful. Bei Lingxian introduced Bailey Kaifeng and the others to Shang Wen Yang, then they casually chatted with each other before the competition began. At the square, Mo Kailin soon showed up and searched for Ganing and Leng shouting all around. Because there were too many people, it wasn't easy for him to find them and he could only ask the others for clues. Junior Mo, why do you want to find them? A disciple asked Mo Kailin curiously, to team up with them. I need to find them now, said Mo Kailin blankly. What? You want to team up with them? I think you better give it up. Many disciples have tried, but they were all turned down. Perhaps they disdain their levels. If you go to see them right now, you'll be turned down as well, said the disciple. Although Mo Kailin was young and had potential, his current level was really common. Right, it'll be embarrassing said another disciple. He wasn't disdaining Mo Kailin, but reminded him to be careful out of kindness after what other disciples had been through. I'm different. It's Senior King He who asked me to join them, said Mo Kailin with pride. He was indeed too young to hide his real feelings. What? Hearing that, several disciples around him were all shocked. Did you just say that they asked you to join them? You must be lying. Yeah. It's impossible that they would give you the offer. Your level is very average. Facing their questions, Mo Kailin argued in annoyance. Why should I lie to you? I won't humiliate myself. It was embarrassing if he was turned down, but it was humiliating if he lied. Mo Kailin lost interest in arguing with them, so he walked away to find Leng Shouting and Ganing. When they were talking, Jing Yunyan stood not far away, so he heard everything. He didn't think that Mo Kailin was lying because it was indeed humiliating if he did that. Mo Kailin wouldn't lie. Precisely because of that, Jing Yunyan grew angrier at Leng Shouting. Leng Shouting refused to team up with him who was at a high level, but turned to a regular cultivator, which was quite confusing in his eyes. Wouldn't they feel burdened if they teamed up with a regular cultivator, although they could get rid of the burden at any time? Wasn't it a better choice to team up with a stronger cultivator? In fact, there were advantages and disadvantages whether they teamed up with regular or strong cultivators, because their teammates would also be competitors. It was allowed in the game, so it might not be a good thing if a strong cultivator was their teammate. It was exactly Jing Yunyan's idea, because he planned to grab the best advantages after reaching the end of the game. Before long, Mo Kailin saw Ganings and Leng Shouting's backs, so he immediately ran to them. Hi, Senior King He. Senior King Feng, Mo Kailin called them excitedly. Hi. Ganing smiled at them. She wasn't as cold to him as to the others. Um, Senior King He, can I ask you about something? Mo Kailin hesitated. Sure, said Ganing. Actually, she already knew what Mo Kailin wanted to ask about. Why were you willing to invite me to join your team? My level is very average after all. All the seniors are laughing at me because they think I'm lying asked Mo Kailin curiously. At the same time, he was also slightly upset because he couldn't help but think about that a lot when facing the other's questions. I think you're adorable. My level isn't high either, said Ganing. Really? Just because I'm adorable? Mo Kailin was pure, but still felt it wasn't persuasive. Don't you want to team up with us? asked Ganing. Of course I do. Mo Kailin said at once, in case Ganing misunderstood him. If so, why do you care so much about the reason? We won't harm you, said Ganing. You're right. Thank you so much, Senior King He, Senior King Feng Mo Kailin stopped being bothered about the real reason why Ganing wanted to team up with him. Anyway, he was very thankful. At this time, Leng Shouting opened his mouth for the first time. We invited you to join us, but you can't rely on us all the time. You must do your best. We'll only help you when you really lose control of the game. I know said Mo Kailin seriously, although he teamed up with them, 
he didn't have the intention of relying on them because it would only make him lazy and slow his progress. Those disciples who had the idea that Mo Kailin was lying to them changed their mind after witnessing him get along well with Gunning and Leng Shouting. They couldn't hear their conversation, but Gunning and Leng Shouting indeed treated Mo Kailin differently. Therefore, they started to believe Mo Kailin's words about having teamed up with them. In an instant, they all felt jealous. Some disciples who already gave up the idea now wanted to try again, so they went to ask for Leng Shouting's permission in order to join them as well. Unfortunately, they were turned down once more. Because of that, Mo Kailin was convinced that he was different and was filled with pride. Dong Fengzi started observing other cultivators once she arrived. She found many at a high level and some were even at the same level as her. As a result, she lost some confidence. After three years, a lot of cultivators who were at a high level came to take part in the competition. Those who ranked below her three years ago seemed to have made great progress, especially Jing Yunyun who was already in the golden core stage. She cultivated hard, so did the others. She made progress, so did the others. She used to think that she was more likely to win a prize this year, but it seemed she was wrong. There were more strong competitors than three years ago, while she was in a dangerous situation. Even if it was more challenging, Dong Fengzu was reluctant to give up. Instead, she encouraged herself to be brave. She couldn't lose. When Dong Fengzu was observing the others, the others were doing the same thing. In fact, they were all observing each other, planning how to win. Hash, Chapter 2067, Have Nothing Else to Do. Given Dong Fengzu's level, she was a strong competitor to many other cultivators as well. At this time, a young woman at the same age as her walked over with a smile. She kindly greeted Dong Fengzu. Hi, Zhu, it's been a while. You've made great progress. She was the heiress of the Yin family, Yin Ru Ian. However, the Yin family wasn't Yin Ru Ian's father's family. Because her father married into the Yin family, she had the same surname as her mother. Yin Ru Ian's father married into the Yin family. So the Yin family's members showed no respect towards him at the beginning and they often mocked him. Only his wife loved and respected him, so he tolerated the humiliation. Luckily, they had a talented daughter afterwards and she grew up to be the most outstanding kid of the Yin family, so the Yin family didn't dare to disdain him any longer. Instead, they all became polite to him. Yin Ru Ian was talented but was inferior to Dong Fengzu. Now she was at the peak of the heartbeat stage. However, Exactly because Dong Fengzu was slightly better than her, Dong Fengzu overshadowed her in the cultivation world. Yin Ru Ian received plenty of praise, but much less than Dong Fengzu. Besides, even if people complimented her, she would always hear Dong Fengzu's name. In other words, when other people said she had great talent, they always added that Dong Fengzu was better. As a result, Yin Ru Ian was jealous of Dong Fengzu ever since she was little. She competed against Dong Fengzu for everything, including Bailey Zong Yin. In fact, she really liked Bailey Zong Yin, but Bailey Zong Yin never bothered to pay attention to her. Even if she went to talk to him, it always seemed that he was unwilling to see her. However, he treated Dong Fengzu differently. Bailey Zong Yin was very polite to Dong Fengzu. He would talk to her on his own initiative if they met and everyone said they were a perfect match in the cultivation world. Nevertheless, Dong Fengzu didn't like him at all. So why would he still try to win her attention? Yin Ru Ian was clearly aware that there was no chemistry between Bailey Zong Yin and Dong Fengzu, and they simply matched each other when it came to their cultivation level and family background. They didn't find anyone else they liked yet, so neither of them bothered to respond to the rumor. They might really be together with each other one day in the future. After all, it was what their families both wanted and hoped to see. Their families simply didn't urge them very much and gave them some time. Yin Ru Ian didn't think she was a worse choice. So why did Bailey Zong Yin refuse to give her a chance? Yin Ru Ian was unwilling to accept it. Even if Yin Ru Ian was jealous of Dong Fengzu, she pretended to be nice on the surface. Dong Fengzi hated hypocritical women like Yin Ru Ian, so she never gave Yin Ru Ian a smile. Therefore, many people criticized her behind her back for that. Dong Fengzi felt aggrieved, but soon got over it. Now she didn't care about other people's opinions. Miss Yin, you've made rapid progress as well, said Dong Fengzi in a flat voice. Yin Ru Ian called her Zhu, but she called Yin Ru Ian Miss Yin which proved that they weren't familiar. Well, 
I'm not as good as Zhu as always, said Yin Ru Ian. Even though she seemed very calm, she actually almost went crazy because of jealousy. No matter how hard she tried, she could never surpass Dong Feng Zhu. Dong Feng Zhu said nothing further about that, but Yin Ru Ian was unwilling to end their conversation right now, so she asked, Oh, I've heard the rumor about you and Zong Ying for so long, when can I see the result? She really wanted to know whether Dong Feng Zhu and Bailey Zong Ying would really get married. Hearing that, Dong Feng Zhu frowned and realized what Yin Ru Ian was implying in an instant. She had an unkind idea and said with a smile, Miss Yin, thank you so much for asking, but please be patient. We'll certainly invite you to celebrate our wedding if it happens one day in the future. Dong Feng Zhu knew that Yin Ru Ian liked Bailey Zong Yin very much, while she honestly had no idea whether she would end up being with Bailey Zong Yin. After all, she wasn't the decision maker sometimes. Therefore, she decided to admit that she and Bailey Zong Yin were indeed very close to make Yin Ru Ian suffer for a while. Without surprise, Yin Ru Ian immediately seemed very upset. Since Dong Feng Zhu didn't deny it, would they really get married? Before long, Yin Ru Ian went back to normal because she was unwilling to lose her manners in front of Dong Feng Zhu and make herself a joke. However, Dong Feng Zhu had already witnessed everything and slightly mocked Yin Ru Ian in her heart. But she was in no mood to laugh at her because she never cared about people like Yin Ru Ian. Yin Ru Ian was like a contemptible wretch making trouble in her eyes. She had never offended Yin Ru Ian, but Yin Ru Ian wouldn't stop making things difficult for her just because Yin Ru Ian was jealous of her. In the end, Yin Ru Ian was always the one who was filled with annoyance making it meaningless. Yin Ru Ian ended up getting mad every time she went to cause Dong Feng Zhu trouble, but she couldn't stop herself from doing that. It was all because of jealousy. Anyway, she couldn't continue right now. Well, if so, I'll just wait for your good news, said Yin Ru Ian without sincerity with a forced smile. The competition is about to begin. See you then. After that, Yin Ru Ian left right away. Well, Yin Ru Ian is really good at making herself a joke. Once Yin Ru Ian was gone, Wu Shanhua mocked her from next to Dong Feng Zhu. Wu Shanhua wasn't at a very high level, but he was in the primary stage of the heartbeat stage now, so he took part in the competition as well. He came here this time not to win the prize, but to help Dong Feng Zhu and gain some experience. She has nothing else to do said Dong Feng Zhu. She agreed that Yin Ru Ian's behavior was quite annoying. If Yin Ru Ian was at a higher level than her and came to show off, she could understand it, but Yin Ru Ian's behavior was obviously unpleasant. Yin Ru Ian walked away and saw Bailey Zong Ying and his younger sister, so she walked over. Although she just embarrassed herself with Dong Feng Zhu, she couldn't help approaching Bailey Zong Ying and she also wanted to make sure of something. Hi, Zong Ying, Zong Xu. Yin Ru Ian greeted Bailey Zong Ying and Bailey Zong Xu with a broad smile. Hi, Miss Yin. Bailey Zong Ying kept a polite distance from Yin Ru Ian. Hi, Ru Ian, said Bailey Zong Xu, but she didn't show much enthusiasm. She also stayed distantly polite. Hash, Chapter 2068, Embarrassed Yin Ru Ian. Although Yin Ru Ian understood that she wasn't very familiar with Bailey Zong Ying yet and it was very normal that he called her Miss Yin, she still felt sad when he deliberately kept a distance away from her. However, on the surface, she remained elegant. Oh, I just met Zhu and I talked with her for a while. I was told you two are going to be married soon, so I came to congratulate you on that in advance, said Yin Ru Ian. She misrepresented Dong Feng Zhu's words, because she wanted to hear the answer from Bailey Zong Ying's mouth. Hearing that. Bailey Zong Xu turned to look at her older brother in surprise. She had heard nothing about that. However, she stayed in her school all the time and didn't come back until yesterday, so it wasn't strange that she hadn't heard the news. So she said nothing. Bailey Zong Yin seemed very calm and said, Miss Yin, you can congratulate me when the day comes. Bailey Zong Yin knew Yin Ru Ian's character very well so he easily figured out her real purpose. He didn't think that Dong Feng Zhu said that to Yin Ru Ian. Perhaps Dong Feng Zhu had given Yin Ru Ian a vague answer, so he did the same thing, because he wasn't sure whether he would really marry Dong Feng Zhu one day in the future, it wasn't up to him after all, he couldn't deny it right now. Yin Ru Ian felt sad in her heart after hearing Bailey Zong Ying's answer. 
but she still forced a smile, sure, she didn't dare to meet Bailey Zong Yin's eyes again in case he saw her upset expression, without delay, she walked away, Zong Yin, what happened, is your marriage with Zha settled, once Yin Ru Ian was gone, Bailey Zong Xu asked Bailey Zong Yin curiously, stop asking me questions, the game is about to begin, we should go now, Bailey Zong Yin was unwilling to talk about that with Bailey Zong Xu, okay, fine, since Bailey Zong Yin refused to talk about that with her, it was useless even if she kept on asking him, therefore, Bailey Zong Xu closed her mouth and walked to the starting point, it was about 10 minutes from 9 am, and all the participants were heading to the starting point, after Leng Shouting and the others arrived, Bailey Zong Xu coincidentally stood next to Ganing, so Bailey Zong Xu saw them and glanced at them once in a while, however, Bailey Zong Xu couldn't recognize Gunning and she only heard that they were Shang Wen Yang's disciples. It was not only Bailey Zong Xu, many others also looked at Gunning and Leng Shouting. Some were aware that they were Shang Wen Yang's disciples, while some were observing them. Feeling that Leng Shouting was an unusually strong competitor, some people stayed alert or even held hostility towards him. Amid their looks, neither Leng Shouting nor Gunning cared about them. Afterwards, the patriarchs of the four major families showed up and went to sit down on the chairs before the hall, looking down on everything at the square. As soon as they appeared, Leng Shouting and Gunning turned to stare at them. With a glance, they recognized Jing Yarong because the mole at the corner of his right eye was too noticeable to be ignored. Seeing Jing Yarong, both Gunning and Leng Shouting were filled with anger in an instant. They ached to kill him, and Jing Yarong shivered feeling the threat from his back, he immediately turned around, but the two unkind looks were already gone, so he failed to find anything wrong, what happened, he was sure it wasn't an illusion, and the looks were from the crowd of participants, he could feel that someone wanted to kill him, actually, it wasn't strange that someone wanted to kill him, because he had many enemies, but who were the two people, Gunning and Leng Shouting had an emotional change when they saw Jing Ye Rong, but they soon calmed down, so Jing Yarong didn't discover them. Shang Wen Yang also gave a glance at Gunning and Leng shouting in the crowd. He was worried that they might be exposed, but now he felt relieved after seeing that they were fine. The other patriarchs didn't notice what they were doing because they weren't Gunning and Leng Shouting's target. In order not to lose their manners, Gunning and Leng shouting avoided looking at Jing Yarong again. Before long, it was 9 am and Bei Ling Shen gave a speech. Good morning everyone. Today is the Kung Fu competition held in our cultivation world once every three years. As usual, we'll award the top ten cultivators with the same prizes. The first prize is spirit gathering pill, the second is energy gathering pill, the third is bone generating pill, while the other seven prizes are recovery pills, he said. The rules of the game remain the same as well. The first part is a group game to compete for number cards. No matter how many participants there are, there will only be 60 people in the second part. Therefore, if you want to get into the second part, you must grab a number card. During that process, King Gong isn't allowed. You must either walk or run. It's unavoidable to be injured in the game. But I still hope you can be gentle. Don't maim other participants seriously or kill. Whoever breaks the rules will be punished. It was just a game so there was no need to risk life. Moreover, they didn't count the number of participants, because it was just the first part to select people to get into the second part. After grabbing number cards, they would register for the real game. Right now, there were more than a hundred participants, and the disciples of Tandazong accounted for one third. We'll announce the rules for the second part in a while. And now, please get ready. Once you hear the sound of the bronze drum, you can move said Bei Ling Shun, then went back to his seat. In about half a minute, a dong sounded. The next second, all the participants ran upwards, including Gunning and Leng Shouting. On the stage, it was a group fight. During this part, one relied on ability and luck to stand out of the crowd. Because it was a group fight, they only needed to beat out unnecessary people. If one was lucky enough, he or she might be able to survive. Hash, Chapter 2069 strong sense of responsibility. If one rushed ahead and got a number card at the end without being attacked, 
others wouldn't grab it away as long as there were number cards left on the board. Only when the number cards were all taken would the participants begin to steal them from each other. By then, there would be more people with number cards than those without, so it was good luck if he or she could hold a number card till the end. In addition, if there were several number cards left when the first part of the game was over, one could directly pick a number card up, which was very easy but it rarely happened, because the aim of participants of the first part was to get a number card instead of having a fight, normally they wouldn't attack the others unless someone stood in their way, they usually fought with each other at the end when they tried to steal the others' number cards. In fact, the rules of the first part seemed a little childish, but it was necessary to select a certain number of people to get into the second part of the game. It was unfair to do that by lot because participants would have no chance to show their abilities. Although luck affected their performance to some extent in the first part, they still mostly relied on their abilities to stand out of the crowd, because most participants would choose to beat those at a low level first. No one was willing to mess with cultivators who were at a high level after all. Therefore, cultivators without outstanding abilities would become the first target. Without surprise, some cultivators at a lower level were soon beaten from the platform. At the beginning, few people chose to attack other participants right away, but there were too many people on the stage, so fights were unavoidable. Most participants were unwilling to fight against cultivators at a high level, so Leng Shouting, Dong Fengzu, and Jing Yunyan were seldom attacked. They were too strong to be beaten after all. Therefore, they smoothly got to the end, and didn't have any conflicts under a tacit agreement. Because they were at the same high level, it wasn't good if they had conflicts right now. As a result, people like Jing Yunyan, Dong Fengzu, and Yin Ru Ian easily reached the end and successfully got number cards. Leng Shouting could go get one before other participants, but he didn't rush. Instead, he chose to wait for Ganning and Mo Kailin, because Ganning and Mo Kailin were at a very average level among the participants, they could be eliminated if they weren't careful, if they were lucky, they might succeed, therefore, they were the target of most participants and many people went to attack them, when Ganning and Mo Kailin were under attack, Leng Shouting didn't help them because he knew that Ganning could handle it, Ganning had also told him to leave the trouble to them as long as they weren't in danger so that they could improve, Leng Shouting agreed and watched on the sidelines, seeing that Leng Shouting had no intention of helping them, more and more people went to attack Ganning and Mo Kailin, however, none of them succeeded, it was a little hard for Mo Kailin to fight back, but it couldn't be easier for Ganning to do so because those who attacked them were mainly at the same level as them. They attacked Ganning and Mo Kailin in twos and threes. Leng Shouting was told to stand away, but he sometimes gave them a helping hand when Mo Kailin was out of strength. When Leng Shouting helped them, other participants realized that Leng Shouting would do something to help them out, so they gradually left. Jing Yunyun and Dong Fengzu's teammates existed because they needed to support Jing Yunyun and Dong Fengzu, while Leng Shouting had to help his teammates. Jing Yunyun showed mockery towards Leng Shouting and thought that he was dumb. After all, they took part in this game simply for personal benefits. Jing Yunyun was indeed as selfish as he was cold blooded. Dong Fengzu didn't bother to laugh at Leng Shouting. Instead, she respected him for helping his teammates. However, Although she respected him, they had different purposes, so she would only care about herself. The audience witnessed the scene as well. Some made fun of Leng Shouting, while some showed respect to him. Anyway, there were more people who were respectful of Leng Shouting, so selfish people were comparatively fewer. In front of the hall sat Bei Ling Shen and the other elders. Yan Hongqing said in a complimentary tone, Shang Wen, you have a great disciple. He can directly go to take a number card on his own, but he doesn't. He chose to stay and wait for his teammates. He has a strong sense of responsibility. Kylin is really lucky that he can team up with them. They had become more familiar with each other now, so they stopped calling one another senior. After Yun Hongqing said that, many people were displeased, including Dong Fengzu's master, Shi Xioyang, Dong Fengzu's grandfather, Dong Fenghe. Yin Ru Ian's grandfather, Yin Wandian, Yin Ru Ian's master, Fuzi, Jing Yanyan's father, Jing Yerong, and so on. Because Dong Fengzu and the others went to get a number card first and left their teammates to fight alone, 
it seemed they lacked a sense of responsibility. It was a group game and participants could team up, but it wasn't a team game after all. Why did Yun Hongqing have to emphasize the sense of responsibility? They were displeased, but said nothing about it. Although Fuzi was Yin Ru An's master, he wasn't as selfish as the Yin family, so he actually agreed with Yun Hongqing. Of course, both King He and King Feng have a strong sense of responsibility, so there is no need for you to be worried. Your disciple will be fine, said Shang Wen Yang happily. I'm not worried at all. I'm just afraid Kailin might be a drag on King He and King Feng, said Yun Hongqing. It wasn't a courtesy, but he said that with sincerity. He used to hope that Mo Kailin could team up with Shang Wen Yang's disciples. But now he began to worry that Mo Kailin might hinder them. He didn't expect them to protect Mo Kailin, so he felt a little embarrassed now. In the short fight, Yun Hongqing could see that King He was excellent at martial arts although her cultivation level wasn't high. She was at the same level as Mo Kailin, but she looked relaxed while Mo Kailin seemed exhausted. After all, she was Shang Wen Yang's disciple. Hash, Chapter 2070 just a little favor, it's fine. I believe they'll win, said Shang Wen Yang airily. It seemed that he had great confidence in Gunning and Leng Shouting. When Shang Wen Yang said that, no one thought he was bragging, because King Feng was obviously strong. Even if King Feng couldn't become the number one, it wasn't difficult for him to be in the top five. As for King He, they could also see her excellent martial arts although her cultivation level wasn't high. With King Feng's help, it was easy for her to get into the top 10. Mo Kailin could join the top 10 as well if King Feng and King He were able to help him. At this time, Bailey Zong Su was at the fusion stage, so many people attacked her too. Nobody cared about status here, and there would only be losers and winners, so those who attacked Bailey Zong Su weren't afraid of her family background. Besides, the four major families were always competing against each other secretly. In order to stop the other families from getting into the second part of the game, they were making things difficult for each other. Bailey's onks who had teammates, but they were being attacked as well, so they might not be able to help her. As a result, when Bailey's onks who ran to the third martial arts platform, a cultivator at a high level hit her with magical energy. Bailey's onks who was accurately hit, then fell from the stage the next second. Seeing that, her teammates rushed to rescue her at once, but it was too late. Seeing that, the Bailey family's members all frowned at their seats. It wasn't something they wanted to see, but they stayed calm. After all, they didn't have high expectations for Bailey Zong Su. They let her join in the game only to experience it. Unfortunately she didn't make it to the second part when the real game began. However, Right when everyone believed that Bailey Zong Su was going to fall from the stage, Gunning moved and flashed to its edge. In the last second, she caught Bailey Zong Su's hand. That scene shocked many people. Unexpectedly, she ran to rescue Bailey Zong Su. Even Bailey Zong Su couldn't believe it. When Gunning ran to rescue Bailey Zong Su, some admired her, some were annoyed and some mocked her. People who admired Gunning weren't selfish. They might not help their competitors, but they wouldn't disdain those who did. People who were annoyed obviously wanted to see Bailey's Onksu lose, and people who mocked Gunning felt her action was hard to understand because Bailey's Onksu wasn't her teammate. It was a competition after all and kindness wasn't encouraged. The person you rescued might return kindness with ingratitude. Bailey's Onksu wouldn't do that. But someone seized the chance to attack her when Gunning went to pull her back. Many people criticized the person for his shameless behavior, but he didn't break the rules, so it was allowed. However, right when the person was about to succeed, Gunning pulled Bailey Zong Xu back. Without delay, she turned to attack the person with strong magical energy combined with the magical power of blood of the phoenix. As a result, the person was hit off the stage and fell into the pool. Many people were amazed by that scene. To their surprise, a cultivator at the fusion stage was able to release such powerful magical energy and beat a cultivator in the primary stage of the heartbeat stage off the stage. The cultivator who was beaten from the stage by Gunning was in the primary stage of the heartbeat stage or she wouldn't have to use the magical power of the blood of the phoenix to enhance the force. Although there was only a level gap between the fusion stage and the heartbeat stage, it made a great difference. Seeing Bailey Zong Xu rescued, 
the Bailey family were relieved. They didn't expect her to win a prize, but it was a good thing if she could get into the second part of the game. Thanks, Bailey Zonk Su said to Gunning. You're welcome Gunning didn't care much about that. She came to help only because it was Bailey Zonk Su in front of the hall. Senior Shang Wen, I should thank you for your disciples' help to my granddaughter Bailey Kaifeng thanked Shang Wen Yang, although he should do that to Gunning. He couldn't talk to Gunning at this moment. Anyway, he knew that Bailey Zong Su would thank Gunning by herself. Bailey Zong Su was his granddaughter after all, so he must say something to show his attitude. It's just a little favor, Patriarch Bailey, said Shang Wen Yang airily. He didn't think it was a big deal because he was aware of Gunning's relationship with Bailey Zong Su. If it was a stranger, Gunning wouldn't help. Shang Wen? Is your female disciple really a cultivator in the fusion stage? Shi Xioyang asked curiously. Yes. Shang Wen Yang smoothed his beard and said with pride, She isn't at a very high level, but her abilities are very outstanding. She has great explosive force. She isn't worse than a cultivator in the heartbeat stage. Shang Wen Yang didn't mind telling them something about Gunning, but he wouldn't tell them everything about her. In fact, even cultivators in the golden core stage might not be able to defeat Gunning because she had the blood of the phoenix which could enhance the impact of magical energy several times than before, let alone cultivators in the heartbeat stage. Knowing that, the other people were surprised again. It was very rare that a cultivator in the fusion stage was able to defeat a cultivator in the heartbeat stage. None of them doubted that because they could see the girl was indeed much stronger than cultivators in the fusion stage. She was also able to release powerful magical energy and easily knock away a cultivator in the heartbeat stage. The fight continued. After rescuing Bailey's Ong Su, Gunning kept on helping her clear her way ahead once in a while. Mo Kailin had Leng Shouting's help, so they soon reached the end and got number cards. Therefore, they could rest for a while now. When the 60 number cards were all taken, there were over a dozen people who failed to get one standing on the martial arts platform, as a result, they had to grab one from other people. Gunning and Leng Shouting protected Mo Kailin and Bailey's Ong Xu behind them. Bailey's Ong Xu was also protected by her teammates, so those cultivators who planned to grab their number cards had to give it up, because Leng Shouting was at a high level and Gunning was stronger than she seemed to be. They avoided them and turned to attack cultivators at a lower level. Some of them succeeded but some failed again and were knocked off the martial arts platform. As soon as those cultivators without a number card were all knocked off, the first part of the game was over. Hash.